Hi. Um, the next thing we're going to do is solve linear equations. So by the end of this le lesson, and after you do homework number 13, you should be able to solve linear equations. When we solve linear equations, equations where the highest exponent is a 1 for the x, when it's just an x, not an x squared or an x cubed, just an x is the highest exponent. That makes it linear. We use the order of operations, GEMDAS, backwards. We undo the equations until only x, the variable, is left. And you always show all work when you're doing math. But let's review the order of operations. So G stands for grouping. And grouping symbols include parentheses, um, divisions, symbols, this division is a grouping symbol, um, grouping, and then E stands for exponents, and none of these have exponents right now. M and D stand for multiplication and division, and it's left to right, and A and S stand for addition and subtraction from left to right. So in these problems, instead of doing the um, multiplication and division first, we're going to do addition and subtraction first, and then we're going to work our way up. So you'll see what I mean when we get to problem number one. Make sure you write your name and what period you're in. So um, 3x plus 8 equals 4. We're going to do addition or subtraction first. So how do we get rid of a positive 8? You do the opposite. You subtract 8. And that's at the bottom of GEMDAS. We're going to subtract. So 3x equals... And what do we get? negative 4. And then after we do addition and subtraction, then we do multiplication or division. We have a 3x. So what do we do with the opposite of 3x? If they're multiplied, the opposite of multiplication is division. So x is negative 4 over 3. You divide both sides. On this one, we're going to change it to a negative 9, so you'll see another type of problem. So everybody change their 3x to a negative 9, 3x minus 9. Now we're going to not divide first, because that's up here. We want to start at the bottom. And we're going to do the opposite of minus 9, which is plus 9. And we get 3x equals 24. And now we do the division, which is the opposite of the multiplication right here. So we divide by 3, and we get x equals 28. And then on this problem, do we multiply first to cancel these? Cancel the 3's? Or do we subtract first? Which one's on the bottom of the order of operations? Subtraction. So we do the opposite of the plus 3, minus 3, we get x over 3, equals 7 minus 3 is 4. And then this is a division, and we're going to do the opposite of the division. We're undoing the work. We're doing the opposite. So we're going to multiply the whole thing by 3 over 1. So that the 3's cancel, and we get x equals 4 times 3 over 1 is 12. Here's one that looks similar. What do we do first? Subtract 8 from both sides. And what are we going to multiply both sides by to get rid of a division? 5 over 1. This is 1 over 5. This is the reciprocal, 5 over 1. They cancel. So these cancel and we get x equals 5 over 1 times 4 is 20.
So on number 5, we're going to subtract 8 first. 5 minus 8. So we're going to subtract because they're different signs. So we're going to get a 3. And which one's bigger? 8. So it's negative 8. And when we multiply both sides, we have a negative to deal with. We don't want negative x, we want x. So we're going to multiply by negative what? What's in the denominator? 2. So 2 over 1. So negative times negative is positive. And 2 divided by 2, they cancel. And then negative times negative is positive and 2 times 3 is 6. Next we have equation with variables on both sides. So what I usually do with those is deal with the x's first and then deal with the numbers next. So we want to get the x's together on the same side. So if you subtract 6x from both sides, you'll get a negative 4x. And I don't like to deal with negatives as much as I can. So I'm going to move the negative 2x. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So these cancel. And 6x minus 2x is 4x. So I subtracted, and now we're going to subtract again. What do we need to subtract so that 4x is isolated? We're going to isolate the variable. Subtract 7. 4x equals negative 2. Divide by 4. This cancels. x equals, and then reduce. Reduce your fractions. So what number goes into 2 and 4 at the same time? 2 does. So 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 4 twice. So negative 1 half. So this time, we have a choice when we're moving the x's. We could subtract 7x and have negative 11x, or we could add 4x. Those cancel. 11x minus 8. I just like to deal with positive as much as possible. How do we get this 11x by itself? What needs to move? The negative 8. So what are we going to do to both sides? Add 8. So those cancel. And negative 2 plus 8 is 6. So we divide by 11. We get x equals 6 over 11. Here we have some problems with parentheses. So we do do the distributive property first. So 3 times 1 is 3 plus 3 times 1x is 3x. Negative 5 times 1x is negative 5x. Negative, one times, negative 5 times 1 is minus 5. And then we solve it just like problems 6 and 7. So do we want to subtract 3x from both sides? So we get negative 8x. Or do you want to add 5x to both sides? So we get positive 8x. Um, you'll get the same answer either way, but I like to use positives. How do we get rid of a 3? If this is a plus 3, a positive 3, so we're going to subtract 3. Negative 5 plus negative 3 is negative 8. And then we divide by 8, which will cancel. And we get x equals negative 1. And the last problem in our notes has the distributive property.
6 minus 2x minus 6 equals negative 5x. 6 minus 6 is 0. So let's move the x's together on one side. So you can decide which you want to do, but if you add 2x, you could also add 5x. You get 0 equals negative 3x. So you divide by negative 3. 0 divided by anything is 0, and we get x equals 0. So there we go with our solving linear equations. They're all linear equations, and you're going to be solving all different types for your homework. Thank you, and I will see you in class next time.